every second, millions and millions of atoms come together to make your hair grow 5 nanometers. This growth is invisible to the human eye, but imagine that you could look more closely. Just as a millimeter is a thousand times smaller than a meter, a nanometer is a million times smaller than a millimeter. At this scale, the world is made up of frenetically interacting atoms. Nano science makes it possible to see and explore for the first time the finest detail of the structure of matter and even manipulate it to suit our needs. For this reason, the NanoSelect project is studying at the nanoscale transition metal oxides, which are the most abundant and stable compounds in nature. These oxides have different characteristics and are very versatile. With minor manipulation of their composition or just the distance between their atoms, we can optimize their behavior and even create new materials with new properties and applications. This way, NanoSelect provides solutions for two of the major challenges faced by society today, energy efficiency and enhanced ICT solutions. The scope of NanoSelect includes superconductivity, magnetoelectronics and smart electronics, so contributing to position Europe as a pioneer in generating knowledge and high-tech devices. NanoSelect is a unique project because it brings together all the methodologies needed from the nanoscale design of new materials to the manufacture of macroscopic devices. Supercomputers such as Mare Nostrum are used to construct extremely detailed models, but its precision is limited to representing 100 atoms. With less sophisticated computers, NanoSelect has managed to achieve a higher level of precision in simulations of up to 10,000 atoms. This even allows for non-existent nanostructures to be designed, so we can imagine and work on the materials of the future. We also have a 200 square meter clean room, where we combine and modify the properties of different compounds in order to create nano composites. Using a bottom up approach, we build these new materials molecule by molecule, atom by atom. We use a sophisticated pulsed laser deposition system to obtain ultra thin layers and different elements and phases are also assembled together, so creating these new nanomaterials. Their properties have major practical applications, greater density for recording information, improved storage of electrical energy, solar energy generation, and more efficient drug delivery. With the high-level resolution of the Alba synchrotron, it is possible to observe the characteristics and structure of the materials. With scanning and transmission electronic microscopes, it is also possible to visualize each assembled atom. And the ultra-sensitive sharp probes in scanning, tunneling microscopes and atomic force microscopes are able to establish interaction forces with these atoms, making it possible to study how they organize themselves on surfaces. All these technologies and the knowledge of our experts in each field allow us to discover the laws which govern this vast and mysterious nano-universe. We can store our data in increasingly small and ubiquitous devices, but energy required is partially dissipated as heat. A magnetic memory is a combination of nanoscale magnets or bits. The writing head is another magnet which writes using the binary system, switching up down the orientation of these magnets. The writing head needs electrical current to operate, and this is where energy is not efficiently used. 
At Nano Select, we have solved this by replacing the electrical current with an electrical field supplied by a battery and constructing a nanoscale structure of two layers of materials. The bottom ferroelectric layer switches its surface charge depending on the polarity of the battery. The top ferromagnetic layer, being in contact with the bottom layer, switches its orientation as with a magnet. In this way, the battery writes the magnetic information without needing a flow of current and without generating heat. But very small-sized memories have other problems too. Sometimes they are difficult to be read. The reading heads of our computers do their job thanks to a device called a tunnel junction, formed by two very thin ferromagnetic layers. Acting like two magnets and separated by an insulating layer, their magnetic orientations determine the presence or absence of an electric flow across the insulating barrier, read as a zero or a one. But things are not that easy. Magnetic materials naturally have a fairly balanced proportion of spin-up and spin-down electrons between 40 and 50%. This means that switching the orientation of the layers only marginally changes the electrical flow. So the resistance is never very high or very low, making it difficult to generate a zero or a one. To solve this, at NanoSelect, we have created a filter that selects only either spin-up or spin-down electrons within the material. This way, we can increase the contrast between the two states of high and low resistance, so making small-sized memories more sensitive and easy to read. Communications of the future will become more and more flexible. We will use the optical properties of materials such as opals to create very adaptable switches. We all know that a prism disperses white light into different wavelengths, generating different colours. Opals block some wavelengths, filtering the light radiation. At NanoSelect, we are taking advantage of this. We coat the material with magnetic nanoparticles so they become sensitive to magnetism. Consequently, an external magnet can modify the way in which light propagates across the opal, eventually filtering different wavelengths, which means filtering different rays of light. This way, the opal becomes a very easily adjustable and flexible switch. Wind and sunlight are the main candidates for a clean electrical energy supply in Europe over the next few years. By 2020, the European Union aims to have a 20% increase in renewable energy and a 20% decrease in CO2. The objective is to increase energy efficiency by 20% while combating climate change. To achieve this, it should be made feasible that electricity generated at any site can be transported over long distances and stored and used without any loss. But when the electrons travel through traditional copper cables, they encounter certain obstacles, which result in 10% of the electricity being lost as heat. This means that we need a new type of material capable of transporting electricity much more efficiently. This material already exists, superconductor fibres. At NanoSelect, we are working towards a faster, low-cost production. In superconductor materials, electrons pair up and travel with no electrical resistance, so avoiding loss of energy. Thanks to this characteristic, the efficiency is tenfold greater than using copper cables. But on the other hand, these materials generate vortexes when they are close to a magnetic field, and this can reduce their efficiency. At NanoSelect, we are working to control the arrangement of these vortexes. In order to do so, we create superconductor composites containing nanoparticles that can interact with the vortexes and anchor them, arresting movement. This makes it possible to create modified superconductor materials with no electrical resistance, even in the presence of magnetic fields 100 times greater than the most powerful on Earth. In addition, thanks to low-cost chemical techniques such as chemical solution deposition and inkjet printing, at NanoSelect we can generate the four layers to produce superconductor tapes. In turn, these spiral round traditional cables to increase their efficiency and generate super cables. Their use will make it possible to transport electricity over long distances without losing energy and will also allow more uniform and flexible distribution by regulation of the flow depending on the quantity needed. 
these materials can also be used to create smaller, lighter, quieter and more efficient motors and generators, ideal to improve boat propulsion or for the design of a new generation of airplanes, electric airplanes. As such, nanotechnology applied to superconductivity is a starting point for the energy revolution necessary in the near future. NanoSelect, as well as making and characterizing new materials, has trained and given prestige and international projection to its researchers. They are the NanoSelect generation. I'm Yoris Zavaleta. I work at the Max Planck Institute for Solid State Research in Stuttgart, Germany. During NanoSelect, I think I benefited especially from the fact that the size of the scientific meetings was not too big and that made uh, interacting with each other quite easy. Also, in my case, uh, it helped pointing out interesting topics that now in the next stages of my career I can pursue. Hi, I am Ignacy Fina and I have been involved in NanoSelect. Now I am currently working in Max Planck Institute in Germany. I think that this kind of transversal projects as NanoSelect are very interesting and fundamental for the society because only this kind of multidisciplinary projects can bring real new ideas and new products. Hello there, my name is Osvaldo Dieguez and I'm a lecturer at Tel Aviv University. It's a pleasure for me to say that from the initial NanoSelect meeting, it was apparent to me that this was a multidisciplinary effort that would allow me to learn topics outside my field from experts of international reputation. Shalom Likulam. Hello, my name is Adrián Carretero Genevrier. I am a currently permanent researcher at CNRS in France and uh, I did my PhD at the Institute of Material Science of Barcelona in the Superconducting Research Group, led by the Professor Teresa Puig, where uh, during this period I was involved in NanoSelect project that allowed me to uh, develop new uh, and interesting results and uh, that uh, contribute today to develop my own uh, research at uh, the Institute of Nanotechnology of Lyon. I am Marta Gibert and now I am working in the University of Geneva in Switzerland and I think that the annual meetings typically held in San Feliu were offering a very nice scenario to discuss ongoing research and also to strengthen the collaboration between different NanoSelect partners. <laughs>